so here we are at the end of week four um, and we've had a really awesome week um, we've been doing a little more sorry I put my gloves on because it's freezing today so we're continuing to hack out I've started doing some interval training as well getting some more trot work in trying to get fitness up um, his fitness is fine mine is atrocious so today while snuggled on the couch I need to start getting an idea of doing some fitness for myself as well um, spend a lot of time looking at my horse's um, nutrition and fitness and I regularly forget about my own so we'll make more of an effort to make more of a plan for that today I did a bit of schooling this week um, I've added some videos in this video um, and I'm gonna voice over the schooling uh, he feels awesome like really really awesome he's really keen and eager and really willing he's lovely to ride at the moment so I think that break has done us both the world of good like regaining our focus what else have we been up to this week so Monday we've got our mega equine calendars in the place ah. so November for the rest of the year in our household um, I entered the competition and uh, Bray Jack and I our picture got selected to be in the mega equine calendar which is pretty awesome um, we then got I've got a little pile so he hasn't gone out and competed for a couple of months I've got a nice little pile here so this arrived Tuesday Wednesday and it's a beast it's really weighty um, this is from my main show which is I do everyday dressage with them one of the online dressage shows I do um, so they do an accumulator for the year and we got oh, tassels. so yeah really proud of that um, I only competed for about six months of the year as well so it was um, quite a nice surprise to be placed and then last night we went to the Hales Life and District AGM so anyone who follows me on Instagram would have seen a slightly drunken story from me last night um, we came away with how gorgeous are they so he was champion in the intro seniors and the intro prelim seniors so I, I need to check the right up with how that works but there, so one class this year was just intro and then there was one which was intro and prelim and you got percentage so I started the intro at the beginning of the year and was doing prelim by the end of the year in that class and I managed to win with the champion um, and the most surprising thing of last night bear with me my water bucket's about to overflow <laughs> she's back um this this we got senior newcomer and I'm genuinely I, I cried and I did a full-on Oscar takeover so I was like can I can I say a few words no one else did but I did and um I just said to the club that you know six years ago I did step away from horses and I thought I'd never be around them again and I've had Bojack about a year and four months now October 2018 and I do think Hales Life and District riding club have a massive part to play in why this first year has been so awesome so so awesome um, they have made me feel so welcome they have always had fantastic events I've done two of their um, riding camps I just and then to get that <laughs> is um yeah it was really awesome so it's been a fabulous week definitely really feeling the motivation to keep going and um, next week we're going to continue with our schooling i don't know if i can start cantering next week or the week after but yeah we're just going to keep going how we're doing um first competition is booked 8th of february <gasps> um so not long three weeks away um but yeah i'm i'm i'm, I'm, I'm in a lot anyway yeah so Enjoy the rest of the video, thanks for tuning in, and yeah, winner winner chicken dinner, so proud of my boy. We just got a little lost. Um, it was actually our plan too. There's uh, about 20 minutes away, there's loads of tracks, um, and I've not really explored them yet, so I thought, right, this week when I've got a few extra minutes, I'm going to go exploring and make a point of getting lost. So that's generally how I find my way around places. I used to work as a groom, I'd go out, I'd go out driving and I'd just drive aimlessly and then be like, right, but how'd you get back to the yard? Um, so we have a pretty good sense of direction. And, uh, but yeah, <laughs> there's a bit when I'm like, oh, <laughs> this 
truck's getting really skinny. <laughs> and it was like really high horses and I just couldn't see where we were. But yeah, we've done the first day of week four. Still feeling really good. Trotting lots. Started to get his heart rate up a bit this week. So at the end of one of the last trots, he was a bit like, oh, oh, oh. So, all good, really. Hope you have a happy day. So I came home, I think it was Tuesday or Wednesday, my Mega Equine calendars arrived. I'm honestly, I'm so, oh, I'm so proud of my boy. This is a fabulous picture that um, Elizabeth Ebsworth Photography took for me. And I just adore it. And I popped in for the competition and we were just very lucky and got selected. So yeah, it is November in my house for the rest of the year. So I've just come to edit all my videos up and I've managed to delete most of week four. I'm quite annoyed at myself actually. Um, I have a few bits left. Here I am getting very excited that he's got a fold. Yes. Um, <laughs> if I can get, I know if I can get his mane to a point where I can plait it, I will continue to grow, like leave him floofing. But <laughs> I know, I've got a competition in two weeks, so I'm very aware that normally just for a competition I look at him and I'm like I cannot go out in this limbo land that we're in so yeah so hopefully within a couple of months I'll be able to plant something and then I will leave it and not shave him bald again but um yeah so this was the end of week four it was a lovely sunny weekend so um I had filmed us schooling and doing some pole work and stuff like that and I failed to keep it. I've deleted it. So I'm giving myself a slap on the wrist for that. Um, and I will try harder in future to make sure that I um, edit my videos promptly and don't delete it. Um, badly. But anyway, so this is me just getting him ready to um, head out schooling. It's not very exciting viewing, I know, but hey-ho. <laughs> Oh, and this is a kind of, it's a pet hate of mine, is when horses eat with a bit in. So, whenever I put his bridle on, because he's been eating, we will always patiently wait. Wait, wait, wait. And I wait for him to finish whatever he's chewing <laughs> before putting the bridle on. Not just because I don't really want him eating with a bit in, but also, there's nothing worse than when they get a massive clump of, like, hay and grass around their bit. That must be really unpleasant for him to be working with that. Um, and for some reason, he decided he was really, really thirsty. Um, Hello, darling. Do you want to take a moment <laughs> without getting too much in the way? Oh, my shadow's going to get in the way. You see how shiny my boy is? I've not really groomed him for a week. It's all his omega rice. He keeps shining inside and out, doesn't it, buddy? Look at that clean tash now. Oh, God. Take a moment. Oh, oh your tash. Don't, don't start eating. You'll floof it up. Look at it. Look at that tash. Oh, you've got your little scorpion clips back. Oh, so this was then the video after we schooled and because it was such a lovely sunny day I took the chance to give him a nice little pamper session so we there there it is every time we finish schooling out it comes he's just really proud of it um and it's not just because he needs a wee he just likes to flop it out when he knows he's about to get groomed dirty boy so um i gave him a lovely um tidy up he his belly is so mm, i just can't get it under control at the moment it's always about this time of year he really struggles i think because he's on so much forage um like the grass isn't there so he's at the moment on small bow haylage as you can see <laughs> because we don't have the storage for hay where i am but Every bale of haylage is ever so slightly different. And so every bale, his tummy just gets a little bit different. So sometimes his poops are really solid and sometimes they're really not. So I'm washing a week's worth out of his tail at the moment. It's just <laughs> disgusting. Um, I have a hot horse shower. Um, I wouldn't really recommend the brand I've got, but I also wouldn't be without a hot horse shower because I just think for horses, like this time of year, it's nice to be able to give them a little freshen up and tidy up. And I can't imagine someone taking me outside in this weather and saying, okay, strip naked and then I'm going to cold hose you. Ugh. So um, I think it definitely makes them happier to be bathed. So I'm um, swing out his tail festival 
Um, I only for like touch up washes and stuff like that. I just use baby shampoo. And normally I love my Shapley's shampoos, but I'm on quite a tight budget, so I only really use them when we're going showing. Just to save a few pennies, I just use like baby bath the rest of the time because you can get that for like a pound a bottle from Asda. Um, but you can definitely tell the difference when I've used his fancy pants shampoos. So we've just cleaned out his tail there, and then we're going to attack his legs. Now, feather care, this is an entirely new thing to me. Um, I've always worked with competition horses, so I'm used to every three, four weeks clipping them so they look like chamois leathers. So feather care is going to be something that I will... I'm sure I'll make a few mistakes, but I'm still learning with. Um, and I know plenty of people will say, don't wash them, rah, rah, but when he, honestly, when his legs have been that, he, he's had very runny poo. Um, I get, to, uh, I can't, I'm sorry, I just can't look at the filth. And you can see already the difference. And this is just with a baby shampoo. This isn't even like a whitening shampoo, but the difference already in the colour I get to a point I cannot look at my horse with yellow brown legs. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So we just give them a good scrub, but I'm not too worried. Obviously his his hair is so dense. I'm not worried about getting right down deep into the feathers because I don't want to trap moisture and stuff in there. And if you part the feathers, um, halfway, like the first, quarter to half inch are always like super white and clean uh, because the outside amount like gets all the dirt and stuff so I'm not worthy, worried about getting like really deep in there but I do just want to give them a little tidy up. He also, because he's got malanders, I like to do his legs a little wash at least once a month because especially when you use hot water like this it just softens up any scabs or scurf or debris and then I can comb them out. Um, and it stops any build up and it helps me get down to the skin to give any creams or treatments I need to direct onto the skin. So yeah, that's my rambling on about And as you can see, oh, he's white again. And I use the um, tail strap at the back because it's um, a clip one. I clip the tail in it and then clip it both on the same D-ring so it keeps his tail out of the way while I'm then washing his legs, which is just a useful little note for anyone when you're trying to keep legs nice and clean and tidy. And then as I said, I did the front legs. They weren't really that dirty, but as, again, it was a lovely warm day. 
well for the time of year um it was a warm enough day and um i wanted to be able to get he had got a massive build up behind his knees of um like scabs and debris from his malander so we really wanted to soften that up and get in there and give him a nice clean Just take a moment. Come on, camera, focus. Focus up. All crystals. Still on. Ta da! People always comment on how I do anything with horses with nails, so I always might be like, hmm, fine, actually, same as everyone else. So whenever I've washed his legs, I do always give his hooves a good scrub. So this is just like a wire masonry brush, which I don't use like every day, but every now and then just to get like all the dirt off off. Um, and then I'm going to start combing through his feathers. I'm not actually, I'm going to do his tail. Lied. Um, detangler is my key to everything. <laughs> so... I have always been someone who likes to brush out tails quite regularly, but I am one of those that I will drench it in detangler because there's nothing worse than when you see someone combing through a tail and it's just like, Argh! as it combs through and you're like, oh my God, put some detangler or something on that. <laughs> um, I've always combed through. I did this when I worked as a groom as well and all of my horses always had like lovely, thick, beautiful tails. Um, but I came through every day. I know some people prefer to plait up and just leave it. Even when I plait up his tail, like I'll plait it up, but I'll try and came through every couple of days um, just to make sure there's nothing getting like knotty and tangled and stuff. So um, that works for me, but obviously it might not work for other people. Um, so I'm just gonna comb through his tail and then um, plait it all up. So it's kind of out the way and clean for at least a few days. God damn you. And then once it's patted up, I'm just going to loop it through the back of the rug, how I said earlier. Um, and I do this just so that when I'm then doing stuff with his back legs, it's out of the way. Um, I found with his tail, even though it's, it is long, it's so thick, whenever I try and knot it up out of the way, it unravels itself very quickly. So when I have finished his legs, I give them a really good towel dry. So I have quite a few yard towels. So when he has a bath, if I have to use a towel on each leg to dry them off, then so be it. Because there's no point getting a wringing wet towel and trying to dry legs with that. 
and then I use a good old fashioned knit comb um, and I comb out the back so behind his knees as I said he has malunders um, and I must admit while he was not working much it got a bit out of control gross how disgusting is that um, so we're getting back on top of it again now I'm getting more proactive with the treatment it's one of those things that when I get on top of it I normally use Cetraban every single day um, and then when I get on top of it it's like every three or four days I put a bit of cream on as I said when he was having his time off I was a bit useless and I failed to cream him up every few days it would go a couple of weeks in between and he has just got a few scabs um, when I got down it's all lovely pink skin underneath it was just like looking quite scabby and tatty so I do that for all of the legs. He only has malanders. I'm very lucky he doesn't have salanders. So his back legs are fine. He has a few creases along his back legs um, where sometimes there are a few bits of scabs and things, but I just keep an eye on them. And I've got a little syringe that I load up with the Cetraban cream if need be, so I can really get in between the feathers. Uh, but on the whole, I'm very lucky that we've managed to get on top of his legs. Um, when he was clipped out, there was a few things I was trying to deal with. And I kept saying, once I've got on top of them, I can then grow out the feathers. So I'm really glad that we can now grow them out. <laughs> My pony has white bits again. Oh, that is better, doesn't it, darling boy? Trying his little pamper session. Hey buddy! Oh, I can't get the lighting right. So we're at the Halesworth and District AGM. <laughs> there, Jack and I. T oh, wait. Championship of an intro and prelim. But the one that made me cry, and I mean proper ball. <sighs> we got a little trophy. I can't wait. There we go. We got a trophy. So we are senior newcomer of the year. And I proper balled and I did a proper Oscar takeover, like had a little speech and everything. And had a bit of a moment. There's people gonna come outside now, think I'm crazy. <laughs> Instagram post, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Talking to myself. Um, yeah, so they were chatting away and they were just like, oh, you know, she's always makes us smile, even when she's in a bit of a rush. And I was like, oh, there was this one show that I normally turn up an hour early, and this one show I turned up mm, about five minutes before my test. And said with her super cob and I was like, that's my boy. You come of the year. <laughs> so thank you again, Halesworth and District, for making this. You know, six years ago I left horses and thought I'd never get near them again. Got Bojack and this has genuinely been one of the best years ever. Thank you. Morning all. It's so cold. The bags. 35 now, just accept it. Buddy. Bojack, Bojack, leggy leggy, yeah, he doesn't care at all. Look, buddy buddy, we don't want a chicken dinner, that's you, yeah, bothered, you don't really care. Look buddy, you're champing yon, yep, doesn't, not bothered, got my hay, mummy's bothered. Just sniff him a bit. Yeah. Doesn't care. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Only got this one this week too. Just, just pretend. No, you're just not bothered, are you? Just got your hay. Mummy's quite bothered. Yeah. Hi, buddy. It's pink and it's weighty. If someone breaks in at mummy's home, she can do some damage with that. It's awesome. What a good year we've had. So we finished off the week with a lovely hack around the tracks. We're really lucky that we've got loads of sandy tracks near us. Um, they get a bit waterlogged, um, but um, it's really nice going for us. 
Um, if you stuck through this entire video, thanks. It was not, I know it isn't, the most exciting video. Um, I'm sorry I lost doing? all of the footage of me actually Washing riding. I'm really quite frustrated at that. Um, I will. Watch yeah, my so. um, anyone who's followed me over from my nail channel will know I'm quite used to yeah. doing nail videos. Yeah, nice this is an muddy. entirely different type of video for me, so I'm still learning. If you have any helpful feedback, any constructive criticism, please pop it below. Please make sure you keep all of your comments constructive and helpful. Um, and yeah, so I hope you can help me improve my challenge, uh, channel. Improve my channel. And it can grow together. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and um, remember if you would like to subscribe head on over to our channel click that subscribe bell um click, uh, click the subscribe button and then hit the bell and make it ring and you'll get a notification every time we share something i've also popped links below in the description to um, our instagram and our facebook page and our blog if you would like to follow us there thanks for tuning in